Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Porky here. The voice of hardcore boxing fans. You know, don't you? You know. Right, uh, this is just a quick video. Uh, International Elements of the Month is going to be out later on this week. Uh, you're all going to be in for a really, really big treat. Uh, I'm just over in West Yorkshire now. Uh, I've got more of a hands-on approach on this video now, so... No one's safe. If you get the votes, you're in it. But I want to say a big thank you to Cam, Tech Guy, and... For having me over here today. And Dale Nichols for because all all the uh, votes now are all so start by Dale Nichols because it's just growing all the time now in it channel it's uh, too much for my little pea brain to handle so I need a bit of help with it uh, otherwise I can't get through everything look at all this lot here people wanting our channel is that a helicopter. There's always helicopters over this part, isn't there? Paranoid. But, uh, but yeah, uh, good luck to uh, to Dale uh, with this, doing this every month. Uh, my advice to you, Dale, is to not update me every single day on votes. Just do it at end of month. Otherwise, it'll fry your head. Because everybody has different opinions on who should be helmets of the month, but it's generally people who just chat rubbish and they want to put themselves out there and contradict themselves and the fans pull these people up on it and it's up to me just to put it out there because no other YouTubers are prepared to do that if they are the majority of them do not really want to show the face on camera and I ain't got a problem with that I ain't got a problem with that I do have a problem with people attacking me hiding behind the camera because it's not right is it it's like silent assassins isn't it I call it trolling but at least I'm willing to say things in front of the camera and nobody else is willing to do that, are they? Because they all think they're going to get a knock on the door. Well, this is how I look at it. If you get a knock on the door, well, you have to an be, be answerable to what you've said, don't you? And I, I'm uh, up for backing up what I say. If you want to behave like Johnny Nelson, Tony Bellew and all the rest of them, behave like that. But like I've just said there, there's, there's the core people of... It's not even 50 people, I think it's about 48 people that get the votes all the time. And these are the same people that are putting themselves out there all the time, but there's more people than these same 48 people in boxing. For example, what it's doing is it's killing the sport slowly because the next generation of people that are coming through feel like they have to be controversial on IFL. Like the guy who, who were throwing water at people and all that, I mean... He was throwing water at somebody that's there for a move around, basically. And we know what a move around is, don't we? It's like a poor journey, man. If you're going to start doing that, do it like Del Boy did when he spat in one at Klitschko's faces. I don't know which one it was, was it Vladimir? And he was fighting vitally. So, but there's more to boxing than these same 45, 50 people. But you, you wouldn't think that, would you, by looking at IFL TV? It's the same old people putting the same old Instagram stuff out and blah de blah. For example, like I said the other day, if Tommy Frank rings Coogan Cassius up and he says, Coogan, I'm thinking about starting a vegetarian Life's Matter protest outside Glen Road's gym, walking up and down with them placard things. Is there any chance you, you put, you're putting it on your channel? Coogan's not going to do that, is he? Do you know why? Because Tommy doesn't do views, does he? So, I have a problem with that. You have to be neutral if you're going to if you're gonna do this. You can't have favor favourites. It's like me. I used to big Dennis up, but you can't do it all the time if he's going to behave daftly, is he? Or he's going to say something and not back it up. For example, Dennis put a tweet out, didn't he? Or Michelle did, saying that Tommy Frank's going to fight in a driving in Sheffield for British title against Kyle Youssef. If that doesn't happen, what 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 are people gonna say? They're gonna say there's talkers and the smoky bacon walkers. If it does happen it's brilliant, but if it don't, what what's what's Dennis gonna do? 
I can't defend that, can I? But you've already got a ready-made excuse, haven't you, with virus? So I can see where Dennis is coming from if he's wanting to pay lip service to his fighters so they don't go on other shows, but I don't believe it. I don't believe stuff like that because I've seen five, six years of it. But he is innovative, Dennis, and I wish him all the best. But I'm not going to dig him out all the time because he's done a lot of good in boxing. He's achieved more than me and he gave me my chance. But that's just one incident, the paying lip service. And we, we've seen it with a lot of people. We've seen it with Barry McGuigan. And um, well, where is he heading now? Where? Where's he going? Do you know what I mean? It's you have to think long term in this sport, and I fear for the sport at the moment. With people wanted to be social media fighters up on up on their Instagrams at three and four a.m. When do these people sleep? Is this why they're not putting the road work in? Because how many fighters out there at the moment? are actually getting up and putting the road work in. Doing a Clinton Woods, getting up at 6am, doing a six mile run up hills and like that. How many of them are doing that? How many? I'd be surprised. You know, I remember Carl Frock telling me a story once where he, he would do it, he'd do his road work every day and then he said a couple of days he'd done it in his garage on a treadmill. Because I, I went to his house and it's massive chance, so that's good, isn't it? See, I've been going on that way. He says, but it's cheating, isn't it, really? And, and obviously, a couple of days later, we're back on, on road. And you've got to put the effort in. But too many Instagram boxers at the moment, Twitter boxers, social media boxers, put your time in. But, like I said, it's looking good for Elmer, so I hope you're all going to enjoy it. Can I just give a big shout out to my new sponsor? DNA meals, thank you for the meals Dempsey, keeping my figure looking great. Uh, some of the selection of food on here is fantastic. Breakfast, lunch, desserts, protein shakes. Uh, so if anybody in the Barnsley area or surrounding area wants any food, get in touch with Dempsey Whale, he's got premises now in Barnsley. It's above Josh's gym, so they've got workmen up there now doing all that, so he's going in the right direction. They're doing it proper, aren't they? They're going to have kids turning over soon. Uh, they've got standout amateurs. Josh's career's all set up now. He's doing personal training. So I'm really, really pleased to be a part of it. So it's all looking good. Uh, so, so that's about it. So keep your helmet votes coming in for October. If you think there's helmet behaviour from any boxers, managers, trainers, just email porkycorner at mail.com and uh, we will right the wrongs, all right? Thank you for liking and subscribing and sharing the video. Shout out to Mark Siddle. Thank you very much for sharing my stuff, Mark. There's a free porky mug on its way to you, mate. Hope you're well. You know I can't get on Twitter, but thank you for sharing the stuff. Don't get involved in any beef with these people because they'll try and block you, all right? Because that's what they do. They try and block you. The Matchroom FC, that's what they're known as. Alright? So I think that's about it, really. So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting, keep supporting boxing. And a big shout out to Innovation Alloys. AJ Hobson, thanks for backing the channel. You're a gentleman and a man of honour. You are proper. And one of the last of the Mohicans in an horrible, horrible sport. Alright? Hashtag Team Players.